Today we're gonna to set up the 13 inch 18 volt Ryobi cordless lawnmower kit. To replace my father-in-law's old yard works that keeps running out of battery and dying when he finishes everything. So the reason we went for 13 inch is because this is a small lawn, a little bit of grass in the front. We don't need a crazy big one like my 21 inch self-propelled with the lawn striping kit. So let's get this open and see how it works. All right, so this box was so small, so lightweight, you could fit it in the trunk of a car easily, get it home without a truck. Let's see if I can lift this all up at once to get it out. Oh yeah, no problem. Okay, and here's the battery. Let's compare the size of this battery. To this one. Oh my god. Look how heavy and big that is. What what even is it? Lead. This one's not fully charged, but I've got some charged up ones from home that I brought so we can get mowing right away. Alright, so let's plug this in. It comes with the charger. I'm not sure how long it'll take to charge, but we do have some charged up ones, like I said already. Cute little collection bag, very cute. Let's see what we need to do to assemble this. Guess we just tighten this up and then bolt that into here. Okay, so we've got it set up. If we go underneath, we've got this here that we can insert from behind in case we aren't collecting to the bag. See that inserts right there nicely. But we are going to be bagging our trimmings. Here's our cute little blade. Here you can see that we can adjust the height, all four wheels at once. Here's our bag that clips on very nicely right here. Okay, my buddy pointed out that I attached it wrong, so let me correct that. This actually goes inside and then everything clips up. All right, see there, I fixed it. We got the wire in there. Now it's not dangling off the back. My bad. Okay, so here's my Ryobi drill, 18 volt full battery let's toss that in here and uh, see how this see how this runs uh, haven't used this before yet so I guess we just press the start and then pull the lever nice okay so I guess we can dial it down and make it short see how long it takes to go through everything and see how much batter we have left at the end of it. Okay, so we're ready to start cutting. Look how thin this is. That is a nice small footprint to store into a shed. We got this set. Let's go one and a half to four inches and we've got it set on the second setting. Look how low that is to the grass. So we'll be collecting it. We'll see how that all goes. And we are starting off with a Full battery, maybe a little less than full because I did some drilling with it. Let's go. Yeah, look at those clean cuts from a fresh blade. That is great. And, you know, that's the longer stuff right there. So, yeah, stoked so far. Let's go. Let's keep going. All right, not too loud, not the quietest. Nice and easy to pivot. Doesn't weigh much. Seems to be cutting the grass really nicely. I really like how lightweight this is. Like if you are maybe more fragile, you don't want to carry a big mower around, something you can just put in your car and maybe bring to someone's house who needs you to cut their grass for them. And if it's a small lawn, like this is nice. Like this could fit in a closet. This is smaller than clothes steaming kits. Such a cute little mower. Good job. Let's see how many clippings we got. I got through everything 
Fine, how much battery do we think we have? I think we maybe drop down one, one battery power. Yeah, just one battery power down for this whole size of lawn. Not that many clippings because the grass is already pretty short to begin with, but that's the nature of a small lawn. Oh, look at that pivot. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I really like how easy it is to move around because it weighs nothing. And you can just get it in every nook and cranny out here. Look at that, all the edges, no problem, pivoting. I like this, nice and peaceful. All right, we didn't have to use any gas, which would be annoying for such a small lawn. We didn't have a cord, which would be annoying because it would catch all the plants. We don't have a big mower, so we're able to pivot. It's the same battery from my drill. We're still at three bars. I mean, for small lawns, this is pretty wild. Here, let's see what it looks like spinning. Does it have a safety so you can't do it sideways? No way. Whoa, it's got a safety too, so you can't tip it sideways. That's cool. All right. I mean, this is the first small lawns. Can't complain, can't complain. Unless you're getting like, if you don't want a real mower, that's like a push mower with a collection bag. This is great. The cuts are all nice. See the blades still look good and sharp. And I can probably just like lift this up, put it in my car, take it to someone else's house too if I need to. Like, look at this. No problem. This is great. 10 out of 10, cute little lawnmower. Love it. Would highly recommend if you need a small little one. Where's Grandma Betty? I gotta get Grandma Betty to cut the rest. Really light? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Grandma Betty approves. Yeah, I can get into smaller places. When I did that pathway, it was really nice. We're gonna start a new gardening channel, Gardening with Grandma Betty and Yuri. <laughs> <laughs>